out. Yo, I have a challenge for you, Yak Pack. I know we've talked about this before, but today's the day. I have a dart, and I have a map of the United States. You know how tough it's been in Florida? It's been 103 degrees for like the past two weeks and the fish aren't biting. I'm gonna throw a dart at this map and wherever it lands, we have to go fishing. It's literally thundering right now as I speak, but we have to go fishing wherever it lands and we're not allowed to come back to Florida until we catch a fish there. You're serious. I, I'm, I'm being 100% serious and say for example, you have to go, it's on me too. Like I'm paying for it. So you get all the footage that we've already filmed. You get everything. So if you lose, you still win and you get to go on a free trip. One of the two of us by the, this time next morning will be in a different state. And then after we figure out where we have to go, whoever loses the rock, paper, scissor tournament after this has to go there. So this is determining the spot where we have to go. Literally, it could be a week. It could be three days <laughs> until you catch a fish. You could be there for the rest of your life if you get a bad spot. Uh, dude, I... <laughs> That's probably some good fishing. I'm just hoping not for like Ohio, but I'm gonna be aiming north because it'll be cold. But uh, anyways, yeah, let me throw the dart real quick. See where one of us is gonna go. Yakpack, the dart has landed, man. It's it's up there. It's up north. It's actually by the ocean. It might even be in the ocean. I'm gonna flip you around so we can see where we're about to go. Where did you even get this map? Oh, what is that? I found it in Walmart. <laughs> We're right next to New York and Philadelphia. That's New York. Yeah. All right. So New York it is. And now we got it. And <laughs> have you been to New York before? Uh, no. I do. Never. I've never no. been more north of North Carolina in my life. Rock, paper, so let's just get it over with to see who goes. Hey, and this is a rule. First flight there you have to take, even if that means it's in an hour. There's I'm no not planning. I'm playing with you right now. I'm not even playing. My bags are still packed from being in the Keys. Like, I still have a bag. I'm ready. I'm ready right All now. All right. It's rock, paper, scissor, shoot. All right. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. <laughs> you going to New York? <laughs> hey, I'm going to New York. <laughs> I'm kind of upset because I want to go. <laughs> we got to go. Next flight out. We're headed to New York. No, they're loading on the plane right now. Guys, we are here at the Tallahassee airport. It is exactly 7 a.m., I guess. I mean, perfectly. We didn't realize, like, I've never flown with a big bag like this. We have all our camera stuff in here. You have to be here an hour early, so we kind of just got through. Yeah, and our flight's already boarded, so we're running late. My carry-on is the mystery tackle box, and I have, like, one change of clothes in here, and we're going to be gone for who knows how long. Prepared? Yeah. Versus more prepared. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go hop on the on the flight. Luckily, Tallahassee Airport is small, so we'll be late to the plane, but I think we'll make it. That's us. We made it in time, guys. And I just want to say you guys are absolutely insane. We basically just decided last night we were going to fly to New York and go film. Like, we have the coolest job ever. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys, Mystery Taco Box, as well, for sponsoring the video. Zade also doesn't have a ticket. And you have this massive carry-on bag, which is, like, I'm pretty sure seven times the size of a carry-on, but... We're a mess. Say 14, 15 seat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma'am, please remain seated while the fastest is bell sign remains. The thing is sometimes they wait slightly. I mean, we'll just run and see what happens. Yeah. Last call, yeah, okay. Oh boy. So guys, you're not gonna believe this. Um, Basically what happened, we completely missed our flight. It wasn't our fault. Basically our flight took off like 30 minutes late. And then when we landed, we were like five minutes until we had to go. And the lady on our plane like had to take a dump like so bad, like some random lady. The flight attendant was like, if you don't sit down, we can't move the plane. And she's like, I gotta take a dump. So she went and took a dump for like 20 minutes. And we're just sitting there on the plane and they can't pull it up. So we missed our flight. We just went up to customer service and we're going to New York. We're in Washington right now. I thought it would be super easy for us to get like a Washington to New York flight. There's not another one until 10 a.m. tomorrow. And it's 10 a.m. now. So we're stuck in Washington for 24 hours. There's a lot of things not going right right now. We're only two hours into this, however long this trip is gonna be. We out here. <laughs> we outside. <laughs> quiet respectful to everybody else but i've never been to the thomas jefferson memorial before and guys this place it's freaking massive i don't even know if you're talking here but that ceiling is like it's super high i skipped out like on my middle school trip to come see all of this and it's cool now that like through fishing through youtube that we're able to to see everything it's uh it's wild what's up what's up bro no, it's not. 
<laughs> oh, what's up, man? <laughs> How are you? I'm real good, man. Good. You fish all year often? Yeah, man. I'm a subscriber. Heck yeah, bro. Dude, we might have to fish with you. Man. <laughs> I was looking, I'm like, I'm like, oh, shoot, hold on. I know it's not him. I know it's not him. I, like, oh, <laughs> I just noticed I like the shoes, too. I got the glows. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know how the fishing was around here. I saw, like, there's so many people here. I don't want to walk up on people's spots and stuff. So, what's up? Here, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh What's up, God. man? Nice to meet you. This is so weird. <laughs> What's oh, up, bro? Nice right. to meet you. Hi. How are you? This guy watches me all day watching your <laughs> shit, like. Guys, we've met like probably like seven subscribers today in Washington. I don't know how many we've got on camera. It's crazy to see like the Narmi is like Florida strong. I didn't know we had such like a strong Washington audience. If you guys fish around the United States or even in different countries, let me know. Now, like this is eye-opening to me. Like I feel like I got to go visit some of you guys. You guys got to take me to some of your fishing spots. You want me? <laughs> oh my god! Dude. Oh, I think he let it go. I think he let it go. No, he's still on there. He's still on there. Hey, man, that's Guys, you. we're tight. That's Let's you. go. That's you. Go ahead. You let me reel in your fish? You. Stay you on, please. Time. Stay on, please. Flip or die, baby. Yeah, go ahead, flip. <laughs> yes, there we go. Yes. I got a true experience of northern fishing today. We fished all day for one fish, and I didn't even catch it. So. I mean, big shout out to you, man. We do have matching shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, shoes. Hey, 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 hey. All right, guys. Day two, yesterday, was pretty crazy. We didn't put it in this video. It was in the last video. We went fishing at the White House. It was absolutely insane. But yeah, it's 9, 10 in the morning right now. Our flight leaves at 10. So we got 50 minutes this time instead of zero. And uh, we got the, uh, the old mystery tackle box. It's still with us. I can't wait to finally get to New York. I'm just hoping somehow, somewhere, our flight works. All right, guys, we have landed in New York. I actually met a subscriber, too, and he gave me banana bread. Probably the weirdest thing a subscriber has gave me to date, but thank you so much for the banana bread. We're waiting on Matt to get here. We're actually here at a, a Chick-fil-A, going to get some food, because we have not ate in, like, 16 hours or so. I think we're going to go straight fishing after this. We're getting Matt some food as well. We're going to eat, and then we're finally going to be able to use our mystery tackle box right here go catch some, uh, some big New York bass, my first New York bass ever. So we're pumped. Oh, geez. See, now that doesn't look realistic. No, it, that is realistic, though. That's how I arrived with the Chick-fil-A. Got ourselves some grub. We got to go find Zade's bag because it's been gone for like 24 hours. We think it's hopefully here. Oh, there's, there's so much has gone wrong on this trip. Are we fishing today? Yeah. Is that the plan? Yeah. Hey guys, we are here at the lake house. This is where we're gonna be staying for the next three days. Today's Tuesday. We leave Thursday and right behind us, we have Lake Saratoga. Literally our lake house is there and our boat's right there. I never fished this far north in my whole entire life. So we have a lot of stuff to do, but we just got to the lake house. Before we even put our bags inside, I kinda wanna go fishing. Are we good, are we good to fish? We can just I walk mean, right down? Yep, it's down. Back on out, Terry, we're good to go. Dude, this is a sick boat, man. What's the, what's the primary target today? Or what are we gonna uh, do? Any species of bass. Guys, we're starting to get rigged up here. Uh, we're here at the first spot. We got like a ton of rock stocks, so we're tying everything up and rigging out of his boat and also out of the mystery tackle box. Oh, if I only had Crocs, I would have rock stocks and Crocs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, let's go ahead and crack open the uh, the mystery tackle box. So, off the rip, we got the Guggenbaits rattling net. This is a fire up north bait and also works really good in Florida. So. Oh yeah. This is, is this your favorite Guggenbait? Wait, are we talking about soft? Just, just everything, everything. Okay. Favorite Google bait I have to go with is the Scout. The Scout by far is just a superior far, jerk yeah. bait. Caught my PB on it. Second though, I probably have to go with the right on the net. Yeah, this is like the ultimate fish catcher. So we're probably going to be tying a lot of this on today. Guys, Matt is also probably the only person I've met in person. <laughs> I guess yeah. is, that's how I say it. That has more Guggen baits than me. Yes. Like, dude, you have so many Guggen baits. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Not a diss at Guggen, just I'm broke. <laughs> we also have the, the Yozuri 
knuckle bait here. Next, we have some Chatterbait trailers here. The Lake Fork Trophy Lures. I've never tried these before, but those look fire. We got the Exo Pods. We got the uh, the Guggen Squad Banger in the bluegill color with that chartreuse. We got a, a Weston Square Bill as well. We have the Poppin' Frog. Cabin Creek Baits. Smart Baits. And a jig that I took out of the pack already. So, <laughs> you might tie that on today. I might. I'll see how that goes. So, I went ahead and I tied on the, uh, the Guggen Bait Singer, which came in the Mystery Tackle Box. I just took it out because I was tying things on. And then we tied on the, uh, the Rattlin Ned on this little Ned head that you can get on Carl's Bait and Tackle. And I think these are going to be like the two fire things that I'm going to start with to catch my first New York bass. What you got going on? Um, I'm actually going to throw the Trash Master jig, if you can pick that up for me, because I haven't tied that on. And over here, when we go deeper, I have a Nichols Bloody Barbed Wire with a Gambler Hawaii, or no, it's a Florida 5 oh, excuse me, trailer on. We'll see. I'm fishing with a Zinger today, so I got, I'm, I'm going straight Guggen. Should I start with a Zinger, or should I go with the Rattlin' Ned? What do you think? Save that for Dyer, go with the Zinger. All right, Zinger is up first, guys. It's so weird, like, fishing up here. In Florida, you can't get away from grass, but here, it's straight rock. There's a little bit of grass on the bank. It's gonna be a, a weird switch up to fish in New York. This is gonna be my first New York fish, Matt, so just get ready. If I catch something today, it'll be my first. We've waited 72 hours for this first cast. Uh, so, without further ado, first cast. Watch me just catch the state record on my first, I just hit their boat <laughs> on the first cast. Yeah. Are they outside? No, we're good. Oh, they are outside. Dude, we're gonna catch them, man. We're gonna catch them. I'm confident. No, I'll catch someone. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got one. Oh, I'm so bad at fishing. I'm so I'm sorry, everybody. I just can't freaking fish. That one was 100%. Dude, it was like. Come on. I just saw you. Come on, Al. Got him. Got him. We're tight. We're tight. <laughs> there we go. What is it? Dude, if I catch a smallmouth, I'm a freak. Is that a little largey? Guys, first fish. There we go. That was epic. <laughs> Dude, first fish on the Rattlin' Ned. Getting the job done. That is crazy, man. Look at the, the colors on them are so ridiculous up here uh, compared to Florida. They just look different. That's a dark boy, too. Yeah. We're on them. First fish in New York of my life, and it's a beautiful one on the Rattlin' Ned. Freaking nailed it, too. Like, he, he let me know he was there. All right, we're going to let her go. Oh, got him. Got him. Go. On the zinger. That was crazy, dude. As soon as it hit the water, got to tighten drag a little bit. <laughs> that was so cool. Dude, it's almost like we're in Florida with all this grass out here. Come here, buddy. Do we need to go near you? I think we're good. I'll, I'll bring him to us. Dude, this is, <laughs> that was too much fun. He's, he's just oh, a little guy, go. too, but. Or actually, I forgot we're up north. Dude, that's a chunk, actually. That's what I mean, bro. They're big. Dude, they're thick out here. That's a thick boy. That's a meat salad <laughs> right there. Hey, Zayd, Zayd, are you hungry? Dude, the zinger getting it done. Probably like a one and a half, maybe even close to a two pounder with nah, his I belly on him. Yep. 1.9 pounds. So almost a two pounder. And in New York, it's like, it's weird. What's a trophy bass in, in New York? Is it a five? It's unheard of to catch like a six or a seven. Like everyone I know who's like a diehard fisherman, it's like, yeah. it's tough. Like you can catch fives like once a year probably as your PB for the year. Anything higher than that, it's that's gonna be real tough. So I feel like a two pounder is kind of good. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing a good job. <laughs> that is awesome. First five minutes with the zinger just got cranked. It was almost like a Florida bite. My spinnerbait landed, it was like on top of the grass and I just watched him come up and roll on it. Like. It was aggressive. This lake is absolutely beautiful. The clearest water I've ever seen in my life. And they're eating it like Florida bass. He came up and cranked the zinger, like <laughs> almost basically on top water as soon as it hit the water. And knowing that there's a possibility for like pickerel, smallies, and uh, tiger musky. Uh, just so many cool things that swim in here. So it's just like a whole nother level of excitement, like the unknown. And also the, the possibility to break my PB smallmouth or my PB anything really. If I caught a musky, it'd be my PB if it was an inch long. So, Dude, the sailboats are kind of cool too. Tomorrow's gonna be freaking they sick. Like, they might live on them like permanently. So, or no, am I, am I being stupid? Some people live on sailboats like in- Yeah, yeah I know that, but like the other thing is Got him, got him, we're tight. There we go. <laughs> that was instant, dude. Wow. Guys, we're talking about sailboats. Is that a rock bass or is that a- That's a little tiny largey. <laughs> dude, the zinger has been the move today, guys. We were trying to figure out if people live on these sailboats out here, if they just leave them out here, and I'm pretty sure they just leave them out here. Is that right? Is that what we yeah, concluded? That's what they do. <laughs> 
Yeah, so people don't live on them. You kind of learn to appreciate each fish up here because uh, the potential to catch like a six pounder is very low, but I feel like it's very similar, at least this lake to Florida fish. I'm gonna let this one go. Because there's so much grass. I mean, I've, it, I literally feel like I'm on a Florida lake, only the fish are like downsized. <laughs> but we also figured out there's a tournament going on today. So there's like 30 bass boats out here. So we're fishing like behind everybody who's already pre fished this. And we just are just coming out here and we're just randomly we're throwing. Up the scraps. Yeah, we're getting the scraps. All right, guys, so we just parked the boat here at a restaurant that's actually on the lake. This is going to be the first place I've ever ate in New York, and Matt was saying it's like, it's super good. So we caught ourselves a few fish. We're just going to take a little hour break, go eat some food, and then come right back out on the water and, uh, and keep on fishing and get on that fire afternoon bite. But for now, it is, uh, it's time to eat some grub. Matt, what's good here, man? Um... There's stuff from all over the place. Like there's New England style fried shrimp. Like I get the fish and chips when I'm here. I mean, last time I was here it was like 20 minutes for food. You're like you're in and out in like 45. So guys, we just got our first uh, appetizer. It's like crab dip with a ton of different things. Yeah. In it. I don't even know what it is, but we're just gonna give it a try. Oh man. I really good. Yeah. That's smack. Yeah. That's fire. All right, guys. So we got the food. What I ended up getting was the uh, the shrimp po boy. I like shrimp is probably my favorite seafood of all time. So. Got the po boy here. What'd you get? I got the fish and chips, and I mean, I had it last time. It is so phenomenal. Like the haddock in it is just so flaky and smooth. I mean, it just falls apart when you eat it. It's just so good. Right here, where we were just catching fish, we're able to eat. I'm ready to. Get, I'm ready to eat and get back out there. Hey, can we get a bite test real quick? Ready for this? All right, shrimp po boy. The sauce is killer. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. It's so good. Veggie burger. Looks pretty healthy to me. Let's go. All right, guys, the grub was amazing. My first ever meal in New York. Well, I guess besides the Chick-fil-A in the yep. airport. So good, man. Thank you for taking us to the spot on the lake. It was uh, it was awesome. It's cool how we can catch fish. Just roll up, get some lunch, refuel, and now it's time to go catch some more fish. Now we got a couple hours, Matt and I, to, uh, to try to figure out what's going on with this uh, with this evening bite. So I think, dude, the zinger's been treating us well. I think I got to pick it up. Unless you have any other recommendations. Are you throwing top water? Yeah, I'm gonna throw a top bar and see how she goes. I'm just gonna throw the zinger because it's been working, guys, and uh, I'm trying a completely new spot of the lake. So we'll see how it goes. That's, that's it's but it's, they don't they don't grab it like at all. No, they they, they don't grab it until until you, they do. <laughs> they, like it's real weird when you feel the tap 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 tap. Usually, got him, got him. We're tight. Got one. First cast at the new spot. Holy cow. Oh. oh. What is it? Is it a largey or is it a smallie? Oh, it's another largey, dude. Ooh, I guess, sir. <laughs> you, baby. We'll take it though, dude. The zinger just zinged them, man. Dude, I have. I'm bringing the the largies with me from Florida to freaking New York. I want to catch a smallie, but I mean, how can you hate catching uh, bass like this? The zinger, man. I'm telling you, it's it's crazy. I love it. That was. Oh, such a strong bite for a one pounder. I had to learn too that you're not gonna see eight and ten pounders out here as often as you do in Florida. So um, I'm I still get hype over any fish that bites. But what's cool about Florida is that you can catch massive largemouth. But what's cool about here is you can catch smallies, you can catch bass, you can catch walleye, you can catch tiger musky. A ton of different species live up here. So I'm trying to check them off the list. But so far it's only been bass. You know we still got a couple hours. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh my God. I don't have that recorded. No, I had that recorded. Let's go. You got it? I think I do. Wait, was that on the spinner bait or was that top That's water? top water, baby. Oh my gosh. Were you recording? I don't know, Jack and Terry. <laughs> you are Yes, sir. I can fish. <laughs> All right, everyone on YouTube, do not call me a wimp, but I'm going to be using pliers because I hate treble hooks. Three of my buddies have been hooked. Don't judge me. Uh, time for me to be the biggest wimp of all time. Dude. What? That's why I don't like him, bro. Where's you? She's, he's, she's locked in. That's all we needed. Shout out, Rackley. All right. Let's go, baby. Let's nice, man. go. Right in here. Dude. Okay, you can still see her. Look at her travel on the bottom right there. <laughs> bro, hey, fish bump real quick. Fish yes, bump. sir. <laughs> Guys, as you can tell, that sun is going down. We've missed a few of our bites too. We don't know if they're like, you know, bluegill or these rock bass coming after our stuff. That was the first topwater blow up and that was absolutely insane. All right guys, so we are done fishing. Day one has finally come to the end. We're here 
at the uh, the old lake house successful first day in new york we have tomorrow until about 8 p.m so that'll be the next video if you guys aren't subscribed go ahead and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video but what a successful first day oh my goodness tell them to use code norm on googlecom.com for 10 percent off okay say it. come on you got it you got it come on say it. say it. oh there you go <laughs>